Oh, here, have, have some cotton candy. <laughs> I don't know why, it's like every time I see I see cotton candy, I'm, I'm reminded of... <laughs> Those guys are you know what? Do you know why she was making... Was she, was she eating cotton candy again? I heard bubbling noises. Oh, there you go. Oh, look, there's Pekka. There is Pekka. What a nerd. Does she wear glasses or is just... She does wear glasses. She does. Uh, it looks cute. No. no. And then there's this bitch. Oh. She is very sad right now. Be nice. <laughs> Go away. Go away. She is extremely sad right now. Be nice, you two. <laughs> there, Monica will help her out. And back to Pekka. <laughs> she came back immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just had to it. use the bathroom, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, are we going to be ad-libbing main menu for the next two hours, or should we actually get started? We should. I say we, I say we continue mm -hmm. on the main yes. menu now that I have arrived. <laughs> <laughs> but right. that is just my opinion. <laughs> oh no, they're carrying me away! <laughs> 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 I had to get the gun to bid in. <laughs> All right. Greetings, one and all. Welcome back to the RP Geeks. I'm Sammy Grayson. Here with me are Opie Man and Ghost of Riddles. Come. Bye, Soda. <laughs> and it's time for more Dungan Rampa 2. Oh, enough God. of this before he gets sucked in for the next two hours. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, we, we're in the middle of the Chapter 2 investigation. Oh, yeah, you were standing there. Menacingly. Menacingly. Okay. Then we had actually had somebody in our in our cyber right, yeah. we, we called it. Right. But who? Uh, well, we were we were we were mentioned to go to the airstrip. Yep. I'm me, Nagito. The weed grower. How could the I'm me That's the wrong fucking Nagito. way? I'm me, Nagito, the weed no. grower. <laughs> Look at those no, I'm Look at Nagito. Those Look at those cute oh, legs. Look at those cute wop legs go. <laughs> Them fucking salad finger legs. Looks like a puppet. A little bit. I mean, it probably is kind of puppety. One. <laughs> One. <laughs> One. Okay. How'd you get? How'd you get here so fast? <laughs> <laughs> because she's literally following you, Hajime. <laughs> He gets to the end. There's Chiaki. He turns around there. She goes, ah, how'd you get there? <laughs> Been here the whole time. <laughs> Dumbass. The airport. The airport. By the way, we're doing an impromptu session here, so I'm sober as a motherfucker. <laughs> uh, oh. How'd you make? Over here. Mikani, Pugi, Hyoko are here. All we're missing is my here. Oh, wait. Everyone is here. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> There's two missing. The names on the staff roll for Twilight Syndrome murder case were Sumiki, Koizumi, Sayonji, Miyota, Sato, Kuzuriyu. Wow. I really wanted Fuyuhiko to come too, but he locked himself in his cottage and wouldn't come out for me. Sorry. So, unfortunately, he's absent. It's probably because I'm so incompetent. I apologize. What? Huh? It's okay to be absent? I thought you said we get executed if we didn't come. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I just saw that pineapple coming up. <laughs> yep. What the hell? <laughs> pineapple. I mean, you said Monokuma had something important to tell us, right? We came because you told us that. Sorry, that Sorry, was a lie. Sorry, that was a lie. <laughs> a lie! Pen, pineapple, apple, pen. <laughs> pen, pineapple, you apple, You tricked pen. us! What the... What the heck? Jeez. Fine, then I'm leaving. Wait. 
Can you wait until we finished our business with you? Right, Hajime? Yeah, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> this is like I'm on the same team as Nike. Yeah. No, I can't focus on them right now. I got to get information from them. All right, I'll be nice to her for the rest of the chapter. This is... this is... That's not fair. I can't believe you actually tricked us so we come to this place! I have nothing to say to impudent regular people like you. Well, fuck you too. Where are you going, huh? She's right, but I might be a regular guy, but... I also have an ultimate talent, or at least I should have one. No, you don't. <laughs> she might have to go last. Hey, do you have a minute? There's something I want to ask you. Did you play Twilight Syndrome Murder Case, Kimi Khan? No. Since we said we weren't going to play that game, also, I'm not really good at video games. I'm pretty slow and I panic instantly. Her timid tone. I'm pretty sure a girl A character was like that, too. Hey, hey. Anyway. Can you tell me about your relationship with my hero? Relationship with my hero? Not in that way. Uh, I had first met her when we first gathered at the classroom with everyone else. And after arriving at the island, I didn't have a few conversations with her, but... Could it be? Did my hero hate me? No. That's definitely it. She hated me know anything. No, it's more like she doesn't remember anything. Even though she hated me for her to actually fight me, she must have been a really kind person. <laughs> hmm, invite. Um, Maya invited me this morning. This morning? This morning. This morning. This mo- we mo- we mo- morning. You're not helping! <laughs> You're not helping! Not at all she where I was going with serious. that. <laughs> and she was wondering if we could all meet up so she could discuss something. But I already had plans to go to the beach, so I had to decline because I needed to prepare for that. And when I did, she made this lonely face and said that she'll reschedule for another day. But if I start this with the magic! My hero invited Mekon? Why? That is a great question. I think someone might know something about that. <laughs> hey, can I ask you something? <laughs> She's just like, uh. Yeah, open uh, wide. Here comes the airplane. <laughs> Hello, Monokuma! <laughs> that, was not, that was not even in the window at the slightest. <laughs> Make it sure! Bring it on! Yes, <laughs> see? <laughs> Have you ever played Twilight Syndrome Mirror Case? Oh, that's a computer game, right? I'm basically awful at those things. Get guitar! I'm a tough girl, so I don't touch anything powered by electricity except electric guitars! I'm pretty sure that's a lie, but now is not the time to really dwell on something like that. <laughs> you, Good boy, Nikon and Hyper Energy. There was a character like that in the game too. Let me ask you one more thing. What's the relationship between you and my hero? Huh? You mean that in a perverted way? Yes. I mean, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, screenshotting this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just, uh... He's like. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that, but... Oh, did yeah! You? <laughs> Got it! <laughs> no, in a normal perverted way. In a normal, <laughs> normal semi-perverted way. Normal, normal perverted! Or a semi-perverted <laughs> way. Or a semi-easy, medium, hard way. <laughs> That's what I was going for. <laughs> <laughs> or the sort oh. of hard with a touch of awkward, easy, difficult, challenging way. <laughs> Well, now that these two aren't fucking helping anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it, I should have done the voice. 
Even if you ask me that, Ibuki's encounter with Mahiru was... Mm, mm. Oh. Ah! When I asked Mahiru this morning to go to the beach with us, she made this real disappointing face. A disappointing face? I see, I see. Yeah, but disappointment varies depending on the person. Ibuki associates it with department store rooftops. I kind of get it. Sort of. Uh, let's stay focused on my hero. That's totally it! It turns out she ran some business too, and she wanted to invite me to that instead. She said something like I was thinking about meeting with everyone, but if you already have plans... Um, do you know what she meant by everyone? Do you mean everyone? Nope, I didn't ask. I see. Naruhodane? My hero invited Ibugi, but why? I see. I see. Looks like we've obtained some pretty valuable testimonies. Based on that, seems like Mahiru also beat the game. Why? Why do you know that? You don't know? If she hadn't, she wouldn't have chosen these people to talk to. Because she beat the game, she talked to the people who appeared in that game. <laughs> Just like what we're doing right now. But still... But in her case, it was much more serious. Probably. I mean, she was forced to learn that she was involved in that game. That's true. But I'm surprised. I never thought my hero would play that game. It's true. That's what was unexpected. She really doesn't seem the type. Like you tell you, didn't you tempt her into playing that game? Huh? Huh? What? What? I remember. Anyway, what happened to my hero? Did she leave saying she had some business to take care of? Huh? Why do you know that? Wait, you tempted her, right? Just like you did to me. How mean. Tempt? That's a rude thing to say. No, that's wrong. Hey, don't that's be stealing lies from the first Mahiru. Game. <laughs> But that's wrong, <laughs> dipshit! <laughs> There's no way her feelings would change just because a useless guy like me tempted her. At that time, she was already considering giving that game a try. All I did was give her a little push. It's obvious. That's all it was. What, what the heck? Well... But more importantly, isn't it better if we listen to what she has to say? She's being quiet as ever. I'm counting on you, Kyoko. Right. <laughs> if Mahiru spoke to everyone who appeared in the game, she should have talked to you too, right? Also, you two were close as fuck. Right. Look at Doug face. Well, Hyoko? <laughs> she never talked to me at all! That's weird. Damn, what a surprise. Didn't expect you to ask me such an easy question. Bye. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna go back to my cottage now. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Hey, Fuck hey. It. Bye. Hyoko. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Ignore my voice, Hyoko. <laughs> Oh, she were avoiding me. <laughs> she's running away. She's running away. Then she, <laughs> I, I imagine Hajime turns around and he just sees like like what he saw at that one scene, just leg. <laughs> Looks like it's okay to say she ran away. Yeah, she's clearly. Oh no, that's my line. Pretty much. Oh, that my bad. It's still Nagito. Yeah, she's clearly suspicious. That's pretty much decided. Decided. Regardless, it looks like we're finished here, so why don't we part ways for now? There's still something I need to investigate. Bye now. I'll see you again later. Uh, hey. I hope he comes back insane. It would be funny. <laughs> it would be funny. What the heck is his problem? Even his exit was pushy. Kiyaki, what should we do? Should we go back to the scene of the crime one more time and investigate? Uh oh. It's very important to investigate the scene of the crime, but let's go over to Mahiru's cottage first. Mahiru's cottage? If she beat that game, it's best if we investigate there. I think... She might have that. Oh, the ending prize. If that's the case, I'll go with you. You're okay with that, right? 
Uh, She's just like, no, you're a fucking idiot. Uh, cute. <sighs> That's your cue to say yes. I'm curious. Okay, I think we read Still this already. The same thing. Yep. Yeah, it's all your fault, Mikon. <laughs> yep, same shit. Still the same thing. What is Shiaki in this? It is all your fault. That's yeah. Right, not important. Moving on. Welcome to paradise. Someone's dead here. <laughs> Well, if that ain't just this fucking game in a nutshell. Yeah. <laughs> Level up. This entire series is like that. This is a great place. People are going to die. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not so sure how we how well we can say that about the series, but this game, yes. I mean, to be fair, Hope's Peak is like a top level place, and yet... Well, supposedly a top-level place. Right. That's not going? supposedly. It was before the I'm tragedy. We know that. True. Mahiru. Here it is. Which one? There it is. There's a Wendy's. Or oh, looks unlocked. Oh. Your turn. Moving after you were told you'd be two-thirds right, so I made sure to be one step ahead. Now, I'm remembering what's one side is a huge no no. There are others who want to investigate too. <laughs> okay. oh, so much for the panty raid. I guess I should <laughs> go inside. I guess I'm about to miss the panty raid. <laughs> oh. oh, that's pretty Shut obvious. Up. Uh, Conveying to my room, the cottage had somewhat of pleasant smell wafting from the room. Ah, wafting. Smells like a fast food restaurant. That proves my hero was here. It proceeds smells to jump. It just proceeds to jump on the bed and just roll around in it. it smells like bacon eaters in here. Mm. Hmm. Nag Nagito's not with us. <laughs> She's not coming back, so. Fancy Ray! <laughs> <laughs> Now, Hajime just hears his voice in the back of his mind. Smells like bacon eaters in here. It smells like bacon eaters. It smells so much like bacon eaters in here. <laughs> then I should. Try looking yes. for a naughty yes, book. Yes, yes, please. That's priority one. That's that's clue. <laughs> Hello, Monokuma. <laughs> we know he's right outside. Oh, why not? What? Sure. Go right ahead. Uh, He's right got... fucking behind her. Yep. Yes. See, right there. No, 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 no. <laughs> what do you mean? No, 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 I was only kidding. I was only kidding. You can because I'm not like because I'm not like you, pervert. Are you that Hajime. kind of person? Pervert. <laughs> Jeez. Well, at least I don't feel nervous no more. I just just a bit of disappointed. So are we really sure my hero is the kind of person that would even have one of those? You never know. Secretly. I mean, could be, Se could secretly, be a, maybe. Could be a food porn magazine. I don't know what the <laughs> Honestly, if any of the girls were to have it, I would put money on a bookie. See? No. Maybe Mikan. It just has a it just has a picture of fucking Burger King foot lettuce. <laughs> No! 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 I'm not even gonna read this line. I'm too busy screaming at Opai over that one. A Burger King food lettuce. On top of the bed. One want to jump. Top of the bed. First. Because we ain't coming back in here. All right. Envelope. There's an envelope on top of the bed. An envelope. Hey, hey. Could it be? This might be it. Ransom note. 
or something. It's the ending know. prize. Mon <laughs> the ending prize. Monokuma gave to the first person who beat that game. What's inside the envelope? What's in the box? That's not a box, you idiot. <laughs> so that's, that's not hard. It's not heart shaped. But let's find out. <laughs> Hello, Monokuma. <laughs> I, tur I turned over the envelope, and what came falling out was... Yeah, Monokuma just pops in, puts another one of those cardboard things behind the TV again. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I told you not to take anything from here, dipshit. Right. This is for the next person who sees it. I read this already. <laughs> A few photos. This photo. Look at this photograph. <laughs> Beat me to it. This is... This is pretty accurate. Yep. <laughs> actually. <laughs> Look at the Pookie's face. Look at her fucking socks. Mm -hmm. That too. I can go up for miles. Not what They've I was getting at. Femurs. They've got femurs on them. Look at it. That's, that's absolute territory right there, baby. Oh, yeah. Does that, is that a chain around her skirt or something? Uh, maybe. Maybe like an aluminum thing. Hard to fully dis hard to fully discern that. Aluminum. Either way, she is stylish as fuck. Oh yeah. Yep, wrong Not way. incorrect. <laughs> Sorry, I got thirsty for a second. Uh, this is a photo <laughs> of me, Connie, Buki, Hyoko, and what what appears to be some sort of entrance hall. Thank you for reminding me to hydrate. Yeah. <laughs> For fuck's sake! You're welcome. It's just like that game. Fuck. Keep going. There was, a similar, me. there was a similar scenario during the first day in Twilight's True Edition. Girl B was in a bad mood because Girl A was late and Girl D tried to cheer her up by taking her picture. Is this the photo she took? Obtain truth bullet. Obtain truth bullet. Bullet. And add it to the court record. <laughs> Look at this photo, too. Look at this photo. <laughs> <laughs> A Look at baby. this photo. Enough. If you don't... Enough, Reggie. If you don't change your ways... <laughs> You don't, you change, don't your change your ways. <laughs> I'm going to slap. I'm going to slap you with a raw salmon, Reggie. <laughs> Is that the same photo Girl D showed Girl E on the third day? As I recall, a broken vase was in the classroom next to the music room. It's called a vase, dumbass. The vase, the vase. They're both correct. Shut up, fucking voice of Nagito. What? I was looking for a rupee in there. <laughs> but this photo's more shocking. Hmm. Oh, so? Chaka showed the photo to me. I was stunned in si into silence. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah. This is an actual photo of a dead body. Nice thighs. Since there's a piano the behind time. the body, it looks like it's in the... That's a corpse! We've had this conversation once, Opai. Please don't make me take this out again. <laughs> Bring Monokuma in here and hopefully he'll behave. <laughs> Since there's a piano behind the body, it looks like it's in the music room. If that's the case... Could this be the photo of the first victim? I mean, it's the victim of the murder that, that occurred on the first day. Oh. Yeah, the one that blamed that a pervert. Oh, shit. Obtained truth bullet. High school girl's crime scene photo. Um. And one more. This is the last photo. Oh. Ugh. This is probably the photo of girl E after she got killed on the fourth day. I mean, it nearly matches her body in that game. 
It's almost like he was rotoscoped or something. Yeah. There's no mistake. This is a photo of Girl E. Tain Truth Bullet. Girl E's crime scene photo. With that, we finished looking at all the photos. Just based on all these photos. Yeah, it seems pretty clear. This is the ending prize. This is the ending prize for being Twilight? What's the big thing in these photos? Because that Twilight's Swin Syndrome murder case is based on an actual murder. Does that mean that stuff about our memories being stolen? Huh? What's this? Is there something else? There's a note inside the envelope. Try playing Twilight Syndrome. Hmm. After you get a game over, press down five times for the real game. Once you do, you should remember what you all did to my sister. We'll talk then. This note. Wait. Time uh. out. Uh. Maybe the first person to beat the game and receive the ending prize wasn't Mahiru. Someone else sent this to Mahiru. That person is the one who actually received the ending prize. My hero wasn't just Lord there by Nakito. She also received this envelope. Yep. And that's why she played that game, right? And the person who played this game first. This envelope looks very familiar. And the word sister written in this note. Who could it be? Hmm. Based on these clues, I can't think of anyone other than... Other, Other than, than who? Other than who? Say I did say I did say him. Oh, I didn't hear it. I thought you I might did. cut you off. Yeah. Also, yeah, the pronoun right. game. Jeez, I'm, getting, yeah, geez, I'm getting shouted. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys are yeah. pissed off at me, but come on. <laughs> We're not pissed no, off. No. We're just fucking around. Honestly, honestly it was funny because it's like I, I was waiting for the dramatic pause, just lengthening it, and then it's just like. <laughs> 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 I'm glad we came here to investigate. Because we did that, we discovered a very important clue. Yeah, I agree. But there's still one thing left. We have to find out who actually killed my hero, but... Must, there, there's not much time left. I need to hurry. And away we go. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Hajime and Chiaki, what a coincidence. Surprise, <laughs> bitch! God damn it. If something happens twice, third time's the charm, so they say. What coincidence? Are you a stalker or something? What? No. Now, now. Don't say that. I was just thinking about filling you in on the results of my investigation. Salts, did you find something? I'll let you know if you drop to your knees and lick my shoes! Huh? Just kidding. I was joking. No, I wasn't. Sound like a joke to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's about the footprints. The killer left their footprints in front of the beach house, right? Wait. Wait, did, did you find out whose footprints are those? Those are? If you want to know, I highly recommend you come to the beach house with me. With you? Of course you'll come course with me, right? He'll come with me, right? I don't trust him as far as I can throw him. If I can get a clue. Yay! <laughs> what are you gonna do, Chiaki? <laughs> I don't know why, but I like the idea of Nekomaru just grabbing Nagito and fucking javelin throwing him across the hotel. I'd love it. I'd love that image. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try and talk to Fuyuhiko and see if he can tell me anything. So, so I'll leave this to you. Yep. 
Yeah, that's definitely a good idea. Someone like me tried to talk to him, it'd be impossible, but it might be different with a girl. Just be careful that he doesn't get rough with you. Hello, Monokuma. <laughs> what? I guess this is where we part. I'll see you later, Hajime. Okay. Look, here's words. What? Alright. Huh? Did you actually want her to stay? Actually, what do you mean? Bye now. Let's go. I'll go on ahead to the beach house and wait there. Hmm. If we're going to the fucking beach house. Buki <laughs> Why was it outside of Buki's cottage next to the camera? <laughs> because he... Because that's where Mahiru's cottage is, like, right across from hers. Not wrong, but still, it's just hilarious. It's just like, <laughs> walks outside the door. Oh, hey, it's a Buki's house. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my lord. Chapter 2 shit gets crazy. Yep. Level up. To the dinner! To the dinner. Oh, hey, it's Gundam. Hey. Hmm. There, Gundam. there is no reason. I was right. Huh? What happened, sinner? I already assumed you would come here. Fine. There's nothing you can hide from me, the Supreme Overlord, who wields the four Dark Davis of Destruction. Thus, I know everything. For instance, I happen to know you fiends... I can see it. ...were preoccupied with your infantile beach play. Not wrong. Nature, the collective it matters not. The world. For what I love is silence and solitude. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's it. That's precisely it. <laughs> I see. So she wanted to be invited to. He's like, fine. I didn't want to be invited anyway. Yeah. Not like I wanted you to invite me or anything. Baca. Baca. <laughs> there I am. Now then. Let's try going inside. There we go again. Oh shit, the door's locked. Here I go oh, again. Buddy on has my been own. <laughs> <laughs> Nagito! Whoa! Whoa! Why the hell are you here? Hello there. Why, hello there, Kazuichi. <laughs> Thanks for going easy on me earlier. Thanks to you, I was able to walk away with just mild bruising. You clearly think like an ultimate. What the heck? This bastard. Um... You two have arrived at a good time. Big news! I've discovered something very terrible! She says with a smile on her face. Nice. She says while flexing. <laughs> a terrible also discovery. That. Not only that, I believe it's nothing like Sonya's, but there's something I noticed too. You too, Mika. <laughs> yep, this is great. Looks like the investigation is reaching its boiling point. First, let's hear what Mikan has to say. Mikan, you had something to say too, right? Um, well, compared to the others, what I have to say isn't that important. So, please don't get your hopes up and be disappointed. I, I get it. So just get on with it. GET ON WITH IT! <laughs> <laughs> um, I tried my best to perform the autopsy and I was able to find out... He was definitely killed by a blow to the head. She was probably stuck, struck from behind by one blow. Based on the scar, the weapon is clearly the metal bat. <laughs> but every dark cloud has a silver lining, as they say. <laughs> Looks like Mahiru didn't suffer. What does that mean? Well... There's no doubt that she died instantly. 
death was instant? Just one swift smack on the head. That sounds a little strange. I think I better remember that. In truth bullet, Mekon's autopsy report. And there's another thing I found. Oh, I'm sorry I started talking about it. Were you busy right now? Just tell me. Just tell me. During the autopsy, I discovered this in my hero's pocket. I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. About what we discussed earlier. Is it okay if we change the place and time? I want you to come to the beach house on the second island at 2.30. Seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. It would be bad if they started suspecting us for no reason. Hiyoko Sayanji. This letter... I'll be Hiyoko in love with my hero, right? Plus, my hero's estimated time of death was around 3 p.m. And they met 30 minutes prior. If we think about what that implies, then... I'm starting to get confused! That's... If it's true, what does it mean? What happened between my hero and Hiyoko? Some crazy shit's going on. Let her my hero. All right, Sonya, what do you have to say? Today, big news! Huge, huge news! <laughs> big news! What's the big news? Remember that Sunwich Esper Edo mask that was next to my hero's body? Oh, that mask that killer used to hide her face. Listen. No, that is not correct. That mask was not just used to hide their face. Then what was it for? Well... Sparkling justice. Oh god, here we go. Mm -mm. Huh? Sparkling justice is a serial killer and self-professed ally of justice whose name makes mankind shudder. They wear a hero mask at all times. Supposedly, they're a serial killer who only murders other criminals. Uh... Do not look so disappointed, Hajime. You need to be surprised! This sparkling justice character. That's the serial killer you were talking about before, right? It's true that the mask we found is a hero mask, but... It is a heroine mask, to be precise. <laughs> heroine. Sunwitch Esperito is a pretty witch girl. See? <laughs> I just wanted to say that part because it would have been so much better. <laughs> See? What the See? fuck? Anyway. anyway, so you're saying it's possible that the serial killer is the one who killed Mahiru. Which means... Hold on. Oh! No! <laughs> no! No! You put that away! No. I don't know what you're talking about. You break it in half and never pull it out again! <laughs> Please. What? What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. What? Not at all. I'm gonna read the line now. Which means there's a serial killer hiding oh, you among us. Oh, you fucking is, awesome. is that metal bat still there? <laughs> yes, I think it is. Sus? Alright, so alright, Sonya, do the thing. <laughs> Sus? Among us? Sus. Among us. <laughs> Baka. Among us. No. <laughs> anyway. I'm pretty sure I've seen a twist like this in some video game. Hint hint. This is stupid. Serial killer, my ass. The killer you just used it to cover their face. That's weird. Did Hajime just admit he wants a serial killer to kill his ass? <laughs> but even so, they sure chose something that stands out. That might be true, but. However. 
Although it's easy to write this off as foolish, it might be best if we exercise some caution. Sonia, can you tell me everything you know about this so-called sparkling justice? As the light of justice shines upon my mask, I expose the hearts of malevolent evil. The hell? Da da da! -da. Complete. <laughs> the center of justice. <laughs> by justice. The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky. That would be me. Sparkling justice. Sonia. <laughs> uh, <okay. laughs> oh, what the heck was that? Well, what the fuck? That. Is Sparkling Justice's catchphrase. What? An unknown serial killer has a catchphrase. Do you have a minute? I read it in a magazine in the library. There has only ever been one person, a journalist, who has interviewed Sparkling Justice. The article was written in their native language, so I tried translating it. However. However. In the end, that journalist is punished by Sparkling Justice, too. But in the end... It doesn't even matter. <laughs> no good can come from getting involved with a serial killer. No good can come from hero worship. That's <laughs> no good. That's no good. A serial killer might not want to hear that from you. Um, this is all I know about Sparkling Justice. Thanks to the mask, nobody knows their true age or gender, making them a very mysterious individual. Meanwhile, cut to wherever they're supposed to be in Sparkling Justice is this huge fucking muscle dude wearing a mask. Nekomaru, it's you? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a hell of a twist. Hey. Sparkling Justice! <laughs> Isn't that kind of a stretch to say that there's a serial killer hiding in their group? <laughs> I was just you, you, do not fuel him. Do not. I mean, there's a kid that's hiding in a in a. Do no such thing. Hiding a Do no such thing. <laughs> Push the fucking button. Let's move ahead. Let's move along. No, it does not mean they are in a group. It is possible the serial killer was lurking on this island all along before they decided to murder Mahiru. Th that's probably not possible. I... <laughs> that is the only thing I can think of. I mean, no matter how much I think about it, I simply cannot believe it. Uh... That one of us is capable of committing such a horrible murder. Sag. No matter how much I think about it, I simply cannot believe it. Okay, I do not believe you. Sonya. I do... I do understand Sonya's feelings, but... It's highly unlikely that there's a serial killer hiding on this island. Hmm. Alright, yeah. next. Now for me! Hey, tell me what you know already. Did you find out whose footprints were the, those were? Actually, how we were able to find that out? I... After listening to everyone's story at the airport, I went to a certain place. Well, it's probably better to say I snuck in. <laughs> to everyone's cottages. Everyone's cottages? Yep. Hey! <laughs> I told Monokuma I needed access for the investigation, so he simply let me in. That bastard? He did something shitty again. Now then. God damn it, he found my porn collection. <laughs> oh. He wasn't, to, <laughs> he wasn't supposed to. He wasn't supposed. He wasn't supposed to know about. <laughs> wow, you are breaking over there. <laughs> but why did I do He's something gone. like that? <laughs> well, I'll explain my reasoning to you. Like he just squatted down near the entrance to the beach house and began to spread some papers he was holding. Some of them were attached to red strings. It was kind of weird. <laughs> Come on, Hajime, take Come a look. On, Hajime, take a look. After all, I went to the trouble of gathering all this. Those footprints. I see. 
So the reason you snuck inside everyone's consciousness was... I suspected one of these footprints belonged to a rare Pokemon. Then I realized they were just people footprints. Oh, that fucking guy. Gen 3 reference. <laughs> yeah, Gen 3 reference. <laughs> God damn it. Fine. I guess I'll open Route 102 then. <laughs> That's Have right. fun, trainer. <laughs> That's right. I wanted to get a sample of everybody's footprints. But unfortunately, Fuyuhiko wouldn't leave his cottage, so I couldn't complete it. <laughs> well, I guess it's no big deal. Seems obvious that the footprints belong to this person. John Cena! <laughs> Whose footprints are there? Yep. Yoko Sayonji. Yoko's? Well... To be honest, the reason I summoned her to the airport was so that I could lure her out of the cottage. She shut herself inside her cottage, remember? She stayed in there, I couldn't sneak in. Perhaps. So I figured if I lured her out, she wouldn't be in a hurry to go back to her cottage. She's treating her like a small animal. She is a small animal. Moving on. <laughs> she is small. But it was totally worth it. The footprint I collected there was smaller than anyone else's. It matched the footprints at the beach house. Yep, there's no mistake. These are Hiyoko's footprints. Updated truth bullet! Footprints on the beach. Um. Also, it's not like I was snooping around or anything, but I found mm. something really interesting at her cottage. Really? The Tell little bitch more. stole some of my weed. Brownies. Oh. That's why she is, what she you, is what she is. No, that was, no, that was me. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you just hear it booking across the fucking beach. <laughs> <laughs> She just peered out of the window behind It her. was me! <laughs> Something interesting. See? Found a lot of these candies inside her room. Hmm. Yummy. By the way, I also make THC gummies. Little bitch stole those too. Oh, th that's... Okay. Okay, okay, that one was me. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> They're just so good! <laughs> They're gummy candies that come in four different flavors. Strawberry, melon, grape, and orange. Ah oh, yeah, so candies that we eat three-fourths of. Looks like she got it from the supermarket. Apparently she really likes this brand of gummies. There should have been other gummy brands, but she only brought home a bunch of these. People are like that sometimes. There are people who will only eat the same brand, even if it's just potato chips. Yummy. I mean, I tend to stick to one brand of alcohol every so often, so... What's wrong with that? Well, it's not clear if this relates to the incident, but I thought I should tell you just in case. Just in case? Come from this guy, that means... He probably greatly relates to the incident. Fair assessment. Chain truthfully. Gummy bag. Oh bing no dong, way! Bing bong. Bing bing bong. We're, we're done with the university. We're about to solve it. everything. Is about to be solved here, and and this will be. The time for unparalleled hedonism has come to an end. Come. Unparalleled hedonism. The decisive battle, the hostility of fresh blood, the insanity of a contest of wits. The class trial is finally raising its curtain. So meet up in front of Monokuma Rock. Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, do we actually want to start it tonight? Because I would rather not quit in the middle of the I trial if we don't have to. Really want? I really want to. Oh man, how long do you think that's gonna be? At least a couple hours. Oof. <laughs> yeah, that's why I try to make tri uh, trials their own episodes, because they tend to go for a while. Yeah. Looks like it's time. I guess the investigation is over. So it's finally starting. The class trial where our hopes and the killer's hope will finally clash. <laughs> but it's all right. Either way, hope will win in the end. All right. 
Now then, let's go prove it. Let's go prove it. Ugh, what's he so excited about? There's no reason to respond to a guy like that. Anyway, we should start heading over. The trial at the trial field where Monokuma is waiting. I have to make my case there. There is no escape. I have no choice but to press forward. Now then, let us go. As we talk among ourselves, we left the beach house in Mahiro's body. It still hurts. Bye, Mihiro. We're on therapy. <laughs> I'm gonna need a lot of therapy after that one. <laughs> oh, that one hurts. That's not yeah. comforting, game. I don't care about the level up. <laughs> <laughs> my, my baby, make it hurt so good. 